can tell me. We'll come back to me. Let's worry about the others for now. Yeah, where do I even start? Hey, how many rooms can you talk to at once? Uh, all of them, I think. Why? I have an idea. Hello, uh, can everybody hear me? I need everybody to be quiet for a second. Hello? Everybody, shut up! Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. Now, as you know, the game has started. Now, what we've learned so far is that there's more people than we thought. 150 players. No way. What? Quiet. Now, everyone in here... Is in here for a reason. Every room has a purpose. What we all need to do... Is find out what those purposes are. If we do that, we're going to walk out of here a lot richer in seven days. Take some time to understand your surroundings, and when you do, you need to call the operator. Who put this guy in charge? Shut up, he's right. How much time do we have? What do you mean, purpose? How are we supposed to call? Henry? Oh, uh, everyone should have a button in their room. Push that button to call me. Before you do that, does anybody have anything to write with? No one? I do. Good, can you call the operator in 60 seconds? Okay. Now, for the rest of you, do not call the operator until you have a better understanding of your room. When you do that... Eric. Eric. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, the, the, the power shut off. I don't think the board can handle everyone at once. We got our first caller. Let's hope it's someone with a pen. Operator. Hey, this is Anne. You said to call in if you had something to write with. I have a whiteboard and some markers. Good enough. Henry, how are your buttons organized? It's... Uh, 16 across, 9 down. So 124 rooms. Plus me. Okay, Anne, we need you to draw a grid. 17 cells across, 10 cells down. Like a spreadsheet. Okay. Label them across by letter, down by number. A, B, C, one, two, three, got it? Got it. Hundred million people watch as Anne draws lines on a wall. C3. Okay, put whiteboard under C3. Okay, ready. All right, Henry. Let's go. All right. F1. Operator. Hey, it's Mark. How's it going? Fine. Do you have something important? Yes. Um, first, I have these black plastic bags. Second, I have the chute coming out from the ceiling. And uh, third, I have these items that all came out from the chute. Um, there's a spoon, a wrapper, and a sock with a hole in it. Th there's some kind of a riddle here, but uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Wait, something's coming. It's a bottle. It's empty. Mark, you said you have black plastic bags? Like, garbage bags? What? Uh, uh, well, I mean, yeah, I guess they're kind of like garbage bags, sure. And you have a chute coming out of the ceiling. Uh, yeah. And the items in your room were... Um, a, a spoon, a wrapper, a, a sock with a hole in it, and now an empty water bottle. 
Henry, I think this room might be some sort of waste disposal area. Yeah, it could be. Some of these tiles come off the walls. Maybe there's some kind of chute system. Wait, what? Mark, you said you have empty bags, a chute... And some junk, right? Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious what your room is. What? Sanitation. Trash. Sanitation. Trash? What? No way! No. This is good. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, guys, come on! Trash room, mark it down, let's move on. Dude, what the f- Okay, uh... K2. Operator. Hey, you're Henry, right? Yeah. He was just talking about you. Who was? The guy on the radio. Radio? What did he say? Something about you freaking out. Because of how many players there are? You saw that, huh? They can see everything we do. He just went to commercial. I've been calling you for a while. Sorry, it's, it's been pretty busy. What else did he say? Just the usual radio show stuff. News, traffic. But then he spent the last 10 minutes talking about the vault. We're kind of a big deal. I guess that's good. Yeah, reception sucks in here, though. I only got one station. Wait, he's back on. It's the big story we've been following all night is, of course, the vault. The real-time ratings are coming in, and they are big numbers. Big! Now, those of you who listen to me regularly should remember that I predicted this would happen. Yes, I did. I said this show would get huge ratings, but only in the beginning. I mean, of course, it's a hit. They've been hyping this thing up for almost a year. Everyone's going to watch the first 20 minutes. That's because everyone wants to see a train wreck. Well, keep in mind, this particular network has a track record of bad decisions. I mean, horrible decisions. Don't forget the reason they're doing this show in the first place is to try and make up for the 50 crappy shows that came before it. It must have been some brainstorming session. Hey, I've got it. Let's cancel our entire lineup, take a bunch of college kids, lock them up in some massive secret complex hidden away in God knows where and keep the cameras rolling for seven days straight. Oh, that'll save the network. You know, maybe I'd be more on board with this whole thing if these kids had a clue what they were doing, but it's clear they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. One of them thinks the vault is a boat, for God's sakes, and these are the ones that passed the tests. If the vault is any sort of ship, it's a ship of fools. Actually, I take that back. They're not all morons. I like the guy in the newsroom. He's all right. But this Henry kid, oh man, did you see his face when he realized how many players there were? Like a deer in headlights, obviously not the guy you want in such an important room. I feel bad for the other, so much money on the line, and that's the guy they picked to be in charge. Tough break. Speaking of breaks, it's that time again, we'll be back. This is the Nick O'Keefe Show. This doesn't seem right. What do you mean? Do you think the producers would let us get information from the outside world? I mean, there's probably viewers at home who figured this whole thing out already. You think it's a trick? Maybe. Anyway, let's just check on some of the others. Okay. I'll keep listening. Sue L3. Operator. Uh, hey, can I get a fork, please? A fork? Yeah, thanks. I, I don't know where the forks are yet. What, do you have some food or something? Oh, well, I... <laughs> I just got this, uh, this pie. I know we're supposed to wait until we win, but I just want a little piece. Well, what kind of pie? Lemon cream. Hey, who's Henry? I'm Henry. Oh, cool. Big piece of this is for you, man. Don't worry. It's safe. Hey, this is Eric. What do you mean it's for him? Well, this pie is already cut into a bunch of pieces. Some of them are labeled. There's a huge one for Henry. And a huge one for Alex. The rest of them are all small. I'm just gonna have one of the little ones. If that's okay. That's weird. I know, you can't eat all of this. Hey, do you know who Alex is? Uh, no, not yet. We'll look for him, though. Okay, and see if you can find any forks. Okay, sure. <laughs> see what I mean? Pie? What could that possibly be for? It's about the money. What? The prize money, you know, like everyone gets a piece of the pie. Oh. It's their way of telling us that some people will get more than others. Well, that doesn't sound fair. Sure it's fair. You have to do most of the work. You and this Alex person, who we should probably keep an eye out for. 
In the meantime, let's not mention this to the others, okay? Okay. Uh, H4. Operator. Hi. Uh, this is Henry. You called? Yes, I have a question. Okay, go for it. Are you someone who's been locked in a small room without access to a shower or running water for a week? Uh... If so, you're going to smell like crap very soon. But now, there's a solution. You should try soap. Because soap is the best. Soap? That's right, Henry. Did you know... Nine out of ten doctors recommend using soap? Uh, okay. It's true. Then again... They also recommend bathrooms to go with the soap, but... Let's not get greedy. Oh, there has to be a bathroom in here, right? Oh, there's a bathroom. Where? By the back wall. Just has a toilet, though. What? Did you think we didn't get toilets? No, I, uh... That would just be stupid. Right. So what's the deal with the soap? I have, like, 50 bars of soap, which are pretty much useless in here without... Water? We have water. For drinking. Uh, what kind of soap? Dove, which everyone knows is the best kind of bird soap. There's 50 bars? Yeah, I know I'm a girl, but even I don't need that much. Uh, yeah, well, it's probably for us all to share. Aren't there 150 people? Yeah. What do you want me to break them into thirds? There's probably some other reason for this. Yeah, it's called product placement. They're making money off of us. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, seems like a waste of a room. Gee, thanks. So for now, mark it down. Let's move on. Got it. Why does it still feel like nonsense? At least it's organized nonsense now. How long has it been since we started? I'm not sure. Uh, an hour? That's it. Henry, you can take a break, you know. No, no, I I'm okay. Pie's not gonna eat itself, right? Alright. Let's keep going, then. You know, as much as I enjoy watching these kids stumble through room after room, I feel kind of bad for them. And I know me, and I tell you why. Times are tough. The economy is in the tank still. A lot of people could use that prize money, especially these college kids who are looking at thousands of dollars in student loan debt and no job prospects after they graduate. To me, that's the tragedy of this whole thing. They come all this way and they don't even have a fair shot. At the end of the day, the only people who are going to walk away with anything are these network executives. They're using these kids. They're putting them in, in my opinion, a no-win situation. 150 rooms of complete nonsense. There's no way... They can beat this game. That's assuming it can be beaten in the first place. I have my doubts, and I'm not the only one. Now, here's something else for you to think about. Say this thing holds these ratings. It's a hit start to finish. You think the network is just going to let it end in a week? It's their first hit in a million years? Well, I don't trust them, and you shouldn't either. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they'll keep this thing going. No one walks away on top. People are too greedy. Somehow, they'll take it too far. It's like I always say, the pigs get fat and the hogs get slaughtered, and these TV guys are definitely hogs. Those kids have no idea what they're in for. The better this thing does, the worse it'll get. Mark my words. If I could talk to them, here's what I'd say. I'd tell them the big secret we've learned so far. The one big secret that the network doesn't want them to know. Here it is. Vault kids, you ready? You're all screwed. But hey, thanks for the laughs, and thank you folks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.